Ooh, over the root. Oh, it's close. So we're out here in the Land Rover Experience Carmel in Quail Lodge. It's a real nice day. Oops. Beautiful weather, about 46 degrees Fahrenheit. There is a Defender First Edition in front of us. It's about to go down this hill. I don't know why they are explaining things to it. It seems just like point and shoot, but uh, I guess that there is a method to this madness. Behind us is another Defender 110 First Edition. Just speak in your normal voice. You come here if you just bought a $90,000 Defender 110 and want to learn a little bit before you go off on your own. Um, but I came here because I wanted a change of scenery from the Southern California desert. Um, Carmel is one of the most beautiful places on earth, as is the coast surrounding, uh, especially a little bit to the north and a little bit to the south. But yeah, you don't need to pay any money to go out and do this. You can just take your Land Rover straight off the showroom floor and do anything that we're doing here. So, but I came here before I bought my LR4 just to make sure that this was something I wanted to commit to and I had such a good time with the instructor and, and getting out and testing the vehicles I felt pretty confident about their abilities and uh, a year and a half later here we are. Just a little 4G. There you go. We have a lot of clearance on this vehicle so Or what you could do, you could challenge your vehicle a Let's little. Challenge it. Why not? Keep Let's it just straight right in. It. If you need a little bit of gas, just give it a little bit more gas. You're gonna rely on that traction going up. Yeah, yeah, that'll feel like it gets a little Perfect, just like that. Got it. Oh shit, oh my god. Yeah. Oh! Do you want to get it outside or do you want to be in the car? Right I'm serious, hold on tight. I'm not joking. That's like, that looked like that thing was about to roll. Just a little bit. There you go, just like that. Nice and steady, just like you're doing. about two feet off the ground over here. You feel a transition. Perfect. Woo. That was good. Nice. Being a little dramatic with it, but imagine any faster, you're gonna be a bobblehead in the vehicle. Exactly. Yeah. No, that guy just fucking went over it too fast. I was just going slow to make it nice and smooth.
So white steelies are nice. They are the uh, 18 inch from the new Defender 110 and 90. And they will fit, oh Shebus, they will fit direct mount to your North American spec Land Rover LR3 or LR4. And I did say LR4. Um, they do cost over $400 a pop, so you're looking at about two grand, unless you can find a use set like I did. Coming from the Tough Ant 18 inch Steelies, is there any material difference? Absolutely not. I actually think those wheels might be lighter, but I haven't weighed them. That's just how it felt for picking them up. Um, and I love the Tough Ant product. But what's cooler than having OEM Steelies on your Land Rover? I think nothing. I will admit I was not the first guy in the world to do this. I think I was the second. I let someone else be that test mule. But uh, most people see mine and not his, so it's all good. I'll, I'll, I'll take the credit. And exactly zero people at the Land Rover Experience in Carmel Owners Day have come up to me to talk about how cool my Steelies are, but it is okay. There are zero defenders with white Steelies, and oh, actually I take that back. There's one who powder coated them black, and it's like, come on, keep them white. Yes, yeah, tacky enough. You can pretty much. Now that is what you call a hill descent. <laughs> so I'm going to save you some money here because I made a uh, $600 mistake when I installed my white steelies on my LR4. Uh, the tire pressure monitoring system, they switched which frequency they use in the middle of the 2013 model year. Don't rely on a compatibility uh, calculator or list or whatever. Look at your own bin because I installed my wheels with the wrong TPMS sensors. Had to pay to redo the entire project and buy new sensors. Um, None of that was cheap or fun, and I spent uh, over $600 fixing the issue, but now I get TPMS and Steelys. I'm a happy, happy boy. Coming into the ruts. More left. More driver's side. More driver. More driver. More driver. 
And I think everyone has another person with them for the most part. Oh, yeah. This does make, honestly, it does make kind of a good photo setting. Yeah. So we can pull each individual car up onto it and then the other person can take a photo. Yeah. You're pretty much lined up. You're just going to pretty much drive out that angle. We'll have a tire off as well. We'll tie up. Perfect. Just like that, nice and slow, nice and slow, nice and slow, keep coming. A little bit more, let's stop right there. Oh my god. <laughs> Good. Okay. It's just funny that there's I don't see white steelies and then I see white steelies. <laughs> okay, I'll meet you up there. You do. Go just slow. Slow and smooth, you got it. Nice. It's not every day you get to do a water crossing in your Land Rover, but today is different. That's just what you get here at the Land Rover Experience Center in Carmel at Quail Lodge. Whenever these uh, defenders here in front of us, including the black steely offender with the rooftop tent up in front, if you want to show them the, the man who painted his steelies black. All good. All good. I get it. Teach their own. But white steelies are the way to go. All right, it's time to time to get wet. That's what they said. Before anybody asks, those 18 inch rims will take a 265, 65, 18 inch tire with basically no rubbing. That means you can go into access height and still drive around and you will not be rubbing your sidewalls. Don't put a bigger tire on, your truck will be pissed, um, so I advise against it.
but they will fit at least with the KO2s. I know some rub a little more, but the KO2s, that's your ticket. Now this is a... Seems like the defender you could just really point and shoot because a lot of these guys have no idea what they're doing. But props to them for just coming out here. You could probably do that with this too. That's probably what I do. But still good looking to see those vehicles off the pavement. So I did get stuck going up that first time. Huge tip, uh, don't just put your gas pedal down and hope to make it up things. Try to do it in a controlled way first. Um, and if you're just not able to do it and need to get a little bit of a momentum boost, do it on your second try so you know what to expect. Don't just mash your pedal and go up the hill, um, especially when it's muddy. I just bought him out on something, I might have. Uh oh. It's better to do things in a controlled way and give it a second go than to make it up on the first try or to mess up badly on the first try and slide your vehicle right into a rock or a tree. That would be a bad day. There's a lot of wheel lift on the front. Over the route. Oh, it's close. Oh, you did it. Nice. Well, the last time I did this, I was the only one out here. And I uh, got to use three different vehicles. None of them were my own. So I was a little bit less cautious. Um, but it's pretty cool to see your own truck do the work. Uh, this is obviously a little bit slower paced and not a whole lot of instruction. This is more of a show and go kind of situation but that's all good it's all about community at the end of the day it's a Land Rover community that makes these events what they are and if this strengthens that community I'll be there so I did do the one in Lutton in the UK where I did get to drive a 2015 Puma Defender 
which obviously if you are in the United States of America is one of the coolest things you can get to do. It was also on like a castle estate, which uh, also is one of the coolest things you get to do. So that one was more special. Um, but you definitely get to test out your vehicle a little bit more here. Defender only? What kind of bullshit is that? Fucking elitist bullshit. I'll defend this. Whee!